well. Like, your milk would be everywhere. Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. In this video I am going to be reviewing and comparing all of the breast pumps that I have and that I have tried out. So I'm super excited to do this. This is a very highly requested video so let's just get right into it. I have a ton of pumps and I have a couple hands-free pumps and I have normal pumps and all kinds of things. So we're going to talk about all of them um, and then if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my laptop. I like made a whole bunch of notes here and I compared each pump with numbers. So the on a scale of one to five, I'm going to rate different things about the pump. So let's get into it. I mean, the first pump I'm gonna talk about is the Mom Cozy. So I know you guys have seen this everywhere and if you wanna go watch my actual review on the Mom Cozy, you can go check it out there. I am just gonna to talk to you guys about a couple different points and I'm gonna give them numbers. So on a scale of one to five, five being the highest. Um, and I have suction ease of use, milk output and time, parts and cleaning, cost and comfort. So those are my categories. So for the mom cozy, for suction, suction is a three. And the reason why I put it as a three is because compared to some of these other pumps, some of these other pumps really can do some serious suction. The other reason why I didn't put a four or five for this one is because a lot of these other pumps come can't see that there you go um it's like a little additional flange that goes inside the pump um it would go in here like this the mom cozy does not come with one if you want one for the mom cozy you have to buy it separately this one goes to the care pump so let me put that back in ease of use five super easy to use um all of your buttons are up here at the top it tells you what you're on it tells you how high you have your pump. There's a one, obviously, all the way up to five. There's two different settings, so very easy to use. Um, so I give it a five. Milk output and time. So I'm giving it a two on milk output and time. Um, and the reason is because of this flange piece. It is too large for most people. Um, and when I measured it, so it says it's a 24, but when I measured it, it was closer to a 27. Um, with this one, it's not like going to give you that suction you need because if your flange is smaller, you're going to get a more localized suction like if your baby was eating so anyways you can look up more research on that about flange size and milk output but that is the reason why and then of course depending on your supply so I don't have like an actual I got this many ounces in this amount of time because that varies person to person in the beginning of my breastfeeding journey I was putting out so much milk like I was getting five ounces in two minutes you know like an intense amount of milk now if i try and pump i'm getting three ounces in 15 minutes and it doesn't matter which pump i'm using so depending on your milk output and how much milk you put out um this one may change your supply or deplete your supply a little bit if you don't have the right size flange so that's a little thing there with that and then i only got one it, you can purchase two, but you really might need two if you're like strictly pumping. If you're just going to pump occasionally on one side to get a little bit of milk out, like after you've already fed your baby or something like that, one is fine, but you may need two. Um, the cost of this pump is $64. Um, I do have links for different pumps down below, so I'll just go ahead and put all the links down below. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. So for cost, this one's definitely one of the cheaper pumps, especially for the hands-free. I think this is the cheapest. Yeah, this is the cheapest pump by quite a bit. Um, and then comfort uh, four, super comfortable, very easy to use. This piece is a little heavy. And if you are going to use a hands-free pump, you cannot really bend over, move around. The milk will spill out of the top, out of that hole. So just so you know, the next pump we'll be talking about is the Betra. I actually really like this pump for a couple different reasons. Um, this one's probably my higher rated hands-free pump. Um, I'm giving the suction a four. I don't love that there are not a ton of buttons here. I I don't ever know what setting I'm on, to be honest. And I believe that there are nine different, uh, like, pump, like, if you pump it up really high, nine different suctions, I guess you could say. So, it's kind of a four for me, but the suction is really good, especially since there are nine. Um, ease of use, very easy to use. Again, a four. You don't know what setting you're on with the buttons. I think there are two settings like a massage and then uh, like a let like a massage letdown and then an actual pumping setting and then nine different suction powers within that. 
as far as milk output and time i'm giving this one a five because of this flange now it, without it it says it's a 27 and then i believe with this flange it's a 24 um so that may still be too big for you if you need a different size then some of these pumps will not work and you will need to get either something smaller or whatever but yeah so i really love this pump a couple of other things i like about it um for parts and cleaning i give it a four super easy to use and this base is like it's bigger than this one. I know that sounds weird because this one looks deeper, but this one's bigger and it like, I don't know, it just holds more milk than this one. I don't know if you can tell. There you go. You can kind of tell there. This one holds more milk. So what you do for this one is you literally don't have to pull anything out. You just pour it out of this spout right here. Super easy. My one thing with this one and why I give it a four instead of a five is because the milk sits in this bladder kind of weird. So you can see this little bladder thing right here is what gives you like your air suction into this part. So your milk goes in through here and then there's a tiny little hole. And so your milk sometimes sits in here. So if you go to take off the pump, sometimes if you go like this, it will dump out and you'll lose your milk. So that's something to look at there. Okay, I had to go get a new battery for my camera. So hopefully you guys are in the same spot. And cost for this one is $129. I do think I have a code for this one. So go check out that code. It, it takes quite a bit off. Um, but this one is the highest costing one of the hands-free pump. However, I do think that this one probably works the best. I think you're probably getting the most bang for your buck with this one. Um, and then super easy to clean. You just pop this off. And then lastly, comfort super nice this one is actually probably the most comfortable in my opinion i like the way that it sits in my bra too it's not too big like the way that it's rounded i guess here let me put it back together so there it is like just the way that it's rounded it kind of sits in there a little bit better and i like that this part is smooth and it's not like a big chunky deal like this guy this one is technically smaller like i said this one holds a lot more milk it's a lot bigger but the way this one sits in the bra it just fits better care so now this one is i would consider it a hands-free pump however it does have a you do have to have like a cord and this guy but this would reach and fit in your pocket so that's why i would consider this one a hands-free this one is actually pretty highly rated for me as well suction a five super strong i am always amazed with this one with the suction i've gotten a lot more milk with this one than mom cozy per se just because the suction is incredibly powerful these flanges love them you have to use them if you're going to be using one of these pumps unless you obviously don't need it size wise but this will make all the difference for your pump this one definitely has less featured settings i would say than some of these other pumps like the this ncvi pump this one is amazing with all of its different features and like how the screen looks and all of that but here's this you can literally hear it right now all these pumps are super quiet by the way i think the ncvi pump might be the quietest it has a bunch of different settings let me see okay yeah so seven power on the section you can see that and then it has a bunch of settings yep a bunch of different types of settings and i've really liked almost all the settings on there there's only one that i think is like a little too strong and last time i was like oh woo but it's pretty really good ease of use super easy to use there were a couple things about this one like putting it together that i was confused about so one nice thing about this one right you got it full of milk you literally just pull this whole piece out and there's your hole and it just drains out that little hole that for me is so nice and this one's like similar shapely to this one this one holds a ton of milk because look how deep it is and the way that it sits on the counter you are not going to spill any milk with this one so if you're very worried about that like this so you can see that one literally tips downward because of this thing on here if you take this off it's a little bit more even but still like your milk would be everywhere however this one your milk is not going anywhere with this one. So that's one thing I love about this pump. Okay, something confusing and challenging about this pump is, okay, so here's your like bladder piece. This is your bladder piece. Now this pops off. Okay, so here's your bladder. This goes in here. This piece goes on top. Now, if I close it like this, it's not actually all that snapped. So you have to make sure that both sides of this 
right here are snapped to be able to get that suction and i struggled with it at first and i even reached out to the company and i was like i think i'm doing it wrong and they were like you got to make sure both sides are snapped so if you do that and you make sure both sides are snapped you'll be totally good um all of it just fits right together like this honestly super easy to use just make sure that little hole is lined up there sorry i know my lighting is wild today there you go so your hole is lined up here and then the other thing i wanted to talk about about this pump this piece goes into this hole right here and this feels loose as heck like if you were putting this in here and you were you've used other pumps like even this end piece that goes into the machine is super tight this one like it literally is just like so i thought that that was maybe like broken or something it works totally fine this is not a problem at all but you do need to look at that and just make sure it's still in there i mean if you push it pretty hard it will stay but it is like awfully loose so anyways that's something about that this is just a weird random thought but these feel weird they like grab dust so that's just a random thought there for you as far as milk output and time five all the way pretty much nothing to say about this the suction power is wild uh parts and cleaning i showed you this already five, uh, four for parts and cleaning so you just pour it out of the top which i really like um it's a big container and it sits flat so four on parts and cleaning and then the cost for this one is 120. I like this because it comes with two pumps. A lot of these other ones are only coming with one pump, but you have two, which is really nice, especially if you're strictly pumping. And then comfort, I give it a five. This piece, super nice. You've got to have the flange. Um, yeah, that's my, that's my rating on the carer. Love that one. That one's a high one for me as well. Okay, so the next two I'm going to talk about are normal pumps, so not hands-free. These are two pumps I'm going to be talking about next. So this one is the Medela hand pump. Um, I used this one like crazy when Wesley was first born. I absolutely love this pump. Um, however, a couple things about it. So now when I say I use this like crazy, I mean I used it every day, multiple times a day. Suction is there, especially in the beginning of your pumping time um, and using the pump. So suction is great. However, I do think over time, this loses its integrity the bladder part because i feel like when i pump i can't get my milk to let down with this pump strictly anymore and maybe it is just because it's a hand pump usually electric pumps for me have been helping me to get my milk down better but like this i don't know i don't know if you can tell but oh there you go uh it's just kind of chilling staying up I think that that means that it's probably lost a little bit of its integrity um, and how well it suctions. So there's that. If you use it a lot, it could probably lose its integrity. The ease of use, I'm giving it a three because you have to pump it and do all the work. Milk output and time. This one is nice because there are other flange sizes and you can buy smaller ones. Like I think it also depends on your milk supply. Like I talked about before, if you have a high milk supply, I was able to get like four ounces in five minutes with this thing. Like you can power pump with this guy. Parts and cleaning, um, I give it a three. It actually has a lot of small parts. So there's like a lot of small parts. So here's like a piece and then this whole thing, like I've had to clean with a Q-tip, which is such a pain because then you don't clean it as often, um, especially if you're using it all the time. And mine looks gross because we have hard water. So it's a lot of, it's, this is hard water stains. But like you have to clean in here with like a Q-tip because your milk can get sucked back up through, like just stuff like that. It's sometimes um, a little bit harder with a manual pump. So I give that a three. Cost for this one is $30, super cheap, which is very nice. Um, and comfort is a five. Very, very comfortable, not painful at all. Okay, and the last pump is my NCVI pump. I have loved this pump and I have used this one quite a bit. I think I've probably used this one probably the second most um, after the Medela. Um, and the reason why is because I feel like it's really strong. Suction, I give it a four. Let me show you this. I hope you can see this because I know it's a mirror. So you guys are just gonna be able to see me. There we go, okay, there we go. So here you can see that these cute butterflies go across. Uh, battery, you can increase your suction power. Nine settings. This is two pumps versus one pump, and then your mode. They have a bunch of different modes on here. So yeah, I love this one, really awesome suction. These tubes don't get stuck to any hair or anything. I like these tubes a little bit better than the other tube. Ease of use, I give it a four, very easy to use. However, you do need a pumping bra unless you're gonna sit there and hold it onto your boob. 
Um, it came with so many flipping parts. Um, I have every size flange I could ever need. Um, I have 32, 28, literally so many size flanges. It came with these little standy dos. Well, that obviously doesn't work to set it in. Okay, so as far as milk output and time, I give this a four. So many flanges, which I love because that can help you get the right size fit. I was using a 24. Um, they have 28. They have a 21. So nice if you need smaller. Uh, 32. And yep, 21. So those are the sizes of that. The other thing I like about this is this is going to sound so silly, but you can see what's going on in here. Some of these other ones, like, for example, if you look down at this pump, you cannot see what's going on. That's what you see. And I know that that's kind of silly. Like, even with the Bevtra, when you look down, that's what you see. So you can't really see what's going on. With this one, you can see if your pump is on correctly. So I can look down and literally see what's going on down there and if my pump is on or if I need to fix it or if I'm getting any milk out. Um, so that's very nice about this one. For me, it usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to pump with this one. And lately I've been getting about three to four ounces, usually three. Um, lots of little parts to clean, but I do give it a four because it is still pretty easy. Flange this little suction thing this duck build deal um there is a little suction valve in here so that i consider that an extra piece that you have to clean and then this twists off pretty easy and then you just have this one piece those are kind of your pieces there not too many pieces but like if you left this at home you would not be able to pop okay and then the cost of this one is sixty dollars um i think this is a pretty good price for a pump a lot of the other pumps that are out there that are similar to this one like just a standard electrical pump are going to be closer to 100 150 depending on the pump that you're looking at this little thing is portable and so nice it comes with a charger so you can plug it in but like you could pump in the car you could pump on an airplane you could pump anywhere because you don't have to plug it into an outlet which i really love that um this is a little heavy but not bad those are all of the pumps that i have so i'm gonna go ahead and put their total ratings here so you guys can see like the average rating um and that's kind of what i'm gonna say i'm not gonna compare them too much and say which pump you should get because they're all so very different however i think that if you're looking for totally hands-free bevtra is my favorite if you're looking for mediumly hands-free where you still have a cord and something to put in your pocket this one's great amazing suction on this guy um, if you're looking for just your standard pumping bra pump, this guy's amazing. So check this one out. And then if you're looking to just get a little bit of extra milk here and there. So those are the p different pumps. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. I will tell you anything you need to know about these pumps. I have tried them out. I have loved them. I have hated them. I have done all of the things. So please let me know if you have any questions. And if you guys want to purchase any of these pumps, check out my links below. Some of them have links. Some of them don't. I apologize. Um, some of the companies I worked with and some of them I didn't. So there you go. That is all of my information. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.